Hello and welcome to the Marsh Meadow of the Arboretum at Penn State. I'm Peter Wilf. I'm a professor of geosciences in the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences here at Penn State University. And today we're going to look at some young ginkgo plants. And these are living fossils growing right here at the Arboretum. These plants have a very long history. Their earliest relatives can be found in the fossil record about a quarter billion years ago. So this whole group of plants is older than the dinosaurs. And there used to be many more kinds of them than there are now. Um, so now we only have one species in the whole world. This one, ginkgo biloba. Imagine if uh, one kind of pine tree was the only conifer in the world. Well, that's what you have here. So the ginkgo biloba is a, a very special kind of plant. It's also uh, special because it's a seed plant, but it doesn't have flowers. And there are very few types of plants that have seeds, but don't have flowers. Um, you know the conifers, um, you might know the cycads. There used to be many more kinds of seed plants that don't have flowers than there are today. During the age of dinosaurs, there are all kinds of extinct seed plants. So this is a relic of that time when seed plants ruled the earth. Flowers came along much later in the early Cretaceous, about 120 million years ago. So ginkgos are a bit of a paradox. It's amazing that they're still with us at all, even this one species. After a quarter billion years of history on this planet, we find them all through the fossil record. We find fossils that look almost exactly like the living ginkgo tree starting about 70 million years ago. It might even be the same species from the end of the age of dinosaurs. So the, uh, the ginkgo group survived the asteroid strike that killed the dinosaurs. They must be tough, and something that really proves how tough they are is that a stand of ginkgo trees survived the, uh, the Hiroshima bombing and uh, is still with us today. So there's an interesting question about the ginkgo, which is, are there any wild ginkgos? But we can't seem to identify a wild population, so it's not really clear if there are any wild ginkgos, but the best candidate is a mountain range in uh, central China, the Dailu Mountains. The living ginkgos are from, um, are from China, um, and they're planted outside of monasteries. They're planted, in, um, they're planted around temples, and some of the trees there are very old, maybe 1,500 years old and they're enormous. Ginkgo seems to have been saved entirely by horticulture, as you see here in the Penn State Arboretum. So come to the Arboretum and uh, enjoy these trees, and maybe in another 1,500 years, they're going to look really large and really spectacular.